Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We've had a great day. Today, this is gonna be an exciting one because we have both of the ultimate editions of Ford's Raptor. To my right, we have the, uh, the Ford Raptor R with the 37 inch tires, a 700 horsepower V8 powered Gen 3 Raptor. Then to my left, we have a 37 package equipped EcoBoost variant. Both are 2023 model years and we're going to find out what you're really getting for the extra $30,000 and if it's worth the upgrade between both models. And to kickstart everything off, I've got to introduce you to the owner of this 37 package. Brian, how you doing, man? Doing good, Thanks bro. How you doing? Thanks for coming out. How do you like it so far? Oh, I love it. It's it's an amazing truck. A uh, little jealous of yours. You know, you got the V8, <laughs> but uh, it, it, the V6 is actually pretty awesome for what it is. Seeing these two very side by side now I didn't realize how much uh, has changed between both of them especially visually I, I love the stance of your car by the way I love what you did with it of the truck thank you thank you thank I you. caught myself <laughs> I'm sorry to saying car I love the stands and I love all the uh, tinting that you did with the uh, front headlights plus are these aftermarket lower running lights yeah we did uh so here we got the the Baja design uh fog lights a triple set here right so I can run these separate and then turning these on so I run these uh, normally like at night, and then uh, if it's very dark or if I'm off-roading, I can run these as well. That's aftermarket, of course. This is stock, the OEM rigid lower lights. They're okay with brightness, at least from right now in the sunlight. This is nothing compared to that. My eyes are gravitated straight to these yellow and white lower running lights on Brian's Raptor. But other than that, have you done anything else to it? Just some uh, cosmetic stuff here. So like you noticed before, the, uh, the, the we tinted the head lights right just to kind of you know give it that fit and finish right and then we um we did these two on the side markers we tinted these as well the tail lights we did the same thing tint around the, the whole vehicle so we you know we get the the nice cool cab in those summer days that looks clean it looks like it matches perfectly with your truck versus me you can see straight through those side right. windows in the front windshield you sense. definitely get the fit and finish with the with the tinted windows it just you know with the with the black pillars and everything i think it just gives it that nice flow i'm noticing how much more of a black tone this raptor has over yours meaning like for example the wide body front fenders and the other accents they're actually pretty much matte solid black versus yours that have this metallic gray finish on them right correct yeah so on the on the 37s or the 35 package you just get this grayish color right and the same thing on the bumper and then if you notice too right here this is unpainted right so it just falls in line with the skid plate yeah and then on yours you get the black bumper and then you get the black painted all the way down to the skid plate and plus with your grill you get the you know piano black if you will right or a gloss yeah, black. everyone says that right yeah. so you get the gloss black versus mine which is just like the, the the sparkly gray if you will i never really noticed this before but given the chance to see both these trucks side by side i'm starting to really notice all these different design cues all throughout i think yours would look good with the black though maybe that's something you can add aftermarket it, you know it, it's definitely something I'm, I'm considering right if i could but then if i do it i got to do the whole thing right i gotta paint you know yeah, both bumpers yeah. right the grill and then another thing that stands out too is the the heat uh, uh extraction right oh, so mine's true. just a little bump and then yours is a big bad boy and so it's it actually a completely different shape right so i got just these three little bumps and then you got those huge it looks like it's definitely lifted up in height right so yeah. i think yours stands about an inch taller than mine the changes they're subtle they're, they're not like too big correct so i think that's a little bit, in my opinion, of a downfall because most of the time, no one I really know uh, notices this is the R variant. Which right, yeah. Makes you feel bad. The, the 30 grand is definitely under the hood, right? <laughs> so, and the cool part was when I bought this truck, it was a top of the line Raptor for about, I think it was 10 minutes, and then your truck came out. So. And then my truck came out, right. and then Ford came out with the 2024s, and then the same thing happened and to me. The same thing happened to you, exactly. <laughs> so, at least I'm not in the boat by myself. I think surely we'll take these things out for a spin to see how they feel back to back right. to find out if it's worth that that price change because honestly how often are you going full throttle like if you off-road non-stop both these pretty much have the same off-road capabilities we have the same trailer. suspension we have the same tires uh you know so underneath we're, we're the same except for what's underneath the hood 
you know what guys let's do a quick walk around to find out what else is different between both these trucks let's kick start from the front side quarter having the 37 inch combination it just works perfectly for the raptor i think if you are in the market the 37 package is what you got to get we're seeing this massive trend in the uh, auto industry for trucks where um, everyone wants bigger and bigger tires and wheel combinations uh, even like the hummer just came out with a software update where owners could put on 37 inch tires versus the 35s that come standard yeah the 35 inch combination for the standard raptor is cool but if you can get the allocation for one of these i think you definitely should are these wheels the exact same as as mine brian yeah these wheels are identical i would say everything from here down is the same i think that your suspension is a little bit tighter because you do have the additional weight of the motor but other than that, I mean, we're, we're identical. Same wheels, same tire, same suspension. Same lower running boards, same doors, right? right. Same mirrors. Yeah. Everything is identical coming all the way out back. Same for where it comes to the big bed. But then you have no R logo, of course. You've got the 37 inch badge. I, I do like that. How come you didn't get all the uh, extra badging on your vehicle, like the vinyl stripes on the side? Um, I just wanted to go clean and subtle. Uh, wasn't looking for, for, the, for all the <laughs> graphics and everything. So uh, that's just kind of the whole uh, look I'm going for. You know, nothing too outrageous. I think you did it right going after that because the Avalanche Gray is such a cool color. Thank I think you. even for the Shelbys when the GT350 came out, this was such a popular color. This, this color wasn't available until 23. I actually ordered the truck uh, December 21. And then it, um, when it finally went into build and this color became available, I switched it. So this was actually my third option. Really? Yeah, but, but then the cool part was I knew getting this color, it was identifiably a 23. The exhaust pipes, are they the same? They kind of look different. Yeah, no, yours, I think they have like the resonator built in. You're so, right, So yeah. mine, mine are huge, right? And they sound great for, for what they are for the V6 because this has the trombone exhaust. So the trombone exhaust means that they're, they're of equal length. So that way I have that nice bellowing sound. I always tell everybody it sounds like a lifted GTR. Let us know who has a better uh, build for this reason alone. The GT500 shares the same engine in my Raptor, right? The 5.2 liter supercharged Mustang V8. But this guy, he shares his engine with a half million dollar Ford GT. A so, little bit different, but yes, hey, hey. same concept. <laughs> you knew that, right, Brian? Your engine is a 70%, I fact checked that, 70% the same as a Ford GT. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna sleep a lot better knowing that. I feel, yeah. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> so for anyone watching this video who didn't get the V8 Raptor, hey, you can sleep better at night. I got the heart pack. of a GT, right? So <laughs> I'm good. Okay, Brian, we checked out your truck. Again, I'll come, come in this way. Yeah, pretty much the same, but then I've got all the amazing V8 logos. Right there. He knew, he knew the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. One V on either side. Interestingly, when I saw the new 2024 uh, Raptor are in um, Detroit, they no longer have these Vs and the eights on the vehicle exterior. So that Easter egg is, is gone. I guess that's one perk I got for getting this truck in the 2023 model year is that the badging is pretty cool. Right, yeah, and you get the blended R, right? You get the color matched R, which the new one doesn't the get. The Raptor? Yeah, the Raptor. Or the Aptor. The Aptor. <laughs> you are completely right. You do have like those resonator holes right. around the exterior tip. It don't look, doesn't look as big as your pipes, to be no, honest my, with you. Yeah, me. it's weird. My pipes are actually bigger. They're and more they like have a little hollowed hole out. Too. Yeah. I feel like yours are more hollowed out. This is a tighter interior section for, for the tube itself. One thing I did notice was that they, they painted this a gloss, like a, like a little gloss black versus this. So this, the Ford stands out on mine. It's just all one flat color. Same goes for the lower section of the rear bumper, right? You have more of the black extending down below. There is one complaint I have with the black for the side fenders. I'll be honest. I wish this material was more str strong because I, I see for a lot of owners that you can get this scratched up very easily. It's like one big downside with this material and you can like see the scratches sometimes and it just, it happens, you, you can't really stop it. I would say pros and cons, right? Yeah, the, the con is that, you know, you can, it, it's a plasticky material so it can scratch easily, but also it's, you can replace it easily. 
True. as well because yeah, it's yeah. not metal. Coming to the side, we have more of the V8 logos all the way down with the code orange. I'm a big fan of this color. We had to do it because our garage with a lot of orange cars. However, that pretty much wraps it up. Other than the design cues that we showed you um, so far, it's all the same except for the engine drivetrain attributes. And I think that's the biggest difference you will find, which we got to take them out shortly. But, but, but before we do that, we have to check out the, the interiors because I want to see how different yours actually is versus uh, the $110,000, very expensive build. I'm expecting a lot, but... Let's see. Yeah, let's see what we have that's different. Okay. All right, here we go. Opening up the door to his Avalanche Gray Raptor. Yep, I'm noticing that. So he does not have the orange uh, stitching everywhere. You don't have the carbon fiber. When I first ordered the truck, it was not an option until uh, the truck actually became a 23. But then after I saw the carbon that was that was coming in this truck, I didn't really want it. I wasn't really a fan of it. So I okay. didn't want to pay the extra dough for yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. The American flag with the orange. That's one funny thing with all the Raptors. They all have that orange finish. I'm pretty sure that comes from the Fox shocks because they are also orange. And you won't find any other orange accents on these vehicles. Same goes for the Raptor R. The main theme for the color is orange. Uh, but looking at the seats, yeah, they are very different. You have this fabric with like the suede and different rivets built in with it. You don't have the Recaros. I believe you could have gotten that as an option, right? That's correct. I could have got the, the Recaro seats, but I, in, in order to do that, I would have had to got the blue interior and That's not the right. black interior. And I was not a fan of the blue interior with the orange stitching. Uh, yeah. I'm not a Broncos fan, so <laughs> I didn't want to go that route. I wanted the black interior, so I went with the, what we consider the, the regular seats. But I still have like the speakers and the headrests and everything, just oh, yeah. like the, the Raptor R. Uh, it's got the Raptor logo on the back of it. I love them, so I'm super happy with them. I think you have more um, customization for your truck versus the Raptor R, just one cumulative package. Like you, you can't choose to not get the carbon fiber if you didn't like it. Correct. Or you don't have the option for the blue type Recaro seat. So it's definitely very um, restricted. These seats are pretty comfortable, man. I love them. I think they're super comfortable. <laughs> I'm very happy with them. And you don't have the carbon fiber finish on the uh, the dashboard to the passenger side, but you did not for that, of course. You have a thousand cup holders everywhere, <laughs> in the, right here in the middle, right here next to the, the transmission selector, even on the doors. There's like three back there. We both have the sunroof option, which is a couple thousand dollars. Hey, Brian, well, what would you call this stitch color? Gosh, it's almost like a really dark, like burnt orange almost. Yeah. Let's hop inside mine and let, let me show you what's different. Okay, here we go. Getting inside the, uh, the Raptor R. Like I mentioned, you have all these spots for cups, uh, waters, anything, you name it. Let me climb up inside. Let's start. Are you ready? Is this your first time in the V8 equipped uh, Raptor? Yes, it is. It's Ooh, not bad. Music to my ears. Then we have loud mode. This truck does have the uh, upgraded carbon fiber standard. It's almost matte the way it looks, but then it's got some shiny tones to it. We have completely different colored uh, pinstriping all throughout the stitching. This is proper code orange. It matches perfectly with the side um, American flag logos right here. And we're talking about how this uh, texturized plastic is more of a metal finish on his, meaning like visually it looks like uh, silver aluminum. This is more black to match all the black tones on the outside. There's no more carbon fiber in the middle except down here right in front of the uh, cup holders. Oh, I love it. In yours, it's a great it's a great look to, with that smooth polished black and then you have like that rough surface and the carbon. And then you have like the stitching here that really stands out where mine doesn't, mine's very blah. It just kind of blends in. You don't really notice it. But, um, and the other thing I noticed too was uh, how you have the, the, the rough finish here versus smooth yep. on mine. You have the carbon here on yours as well. I think is really cool. I love that it has the, the Raptor R logo, mine's very plain again. Oh, there's the, nothing there in yours, mine, right? Yeah, it's just blank. So I think that's super cool that they did that. And for this truck, there, there should be those things that stand out to make it different, right? So it doesn't blend in the parking lot like yep. mine does, right? You, you you know, for 30 grand, you definitely want to see some more <laughs> I got to get a logo right, right here, you gotta, Raptor You got to have more <laughs> logos so everybody knows when they get in what this really is, right? But as soon as you start it, 30 grand right there. Interestingly, your vehicle, it doesn't have the orange stitching either on the string wheel. No. You have the orange stripe up top. I have, yeah, exactly. But, I have the 12 o'clock, but I don't have the orange stitching like yeah, you do. 
that wraps around. I wonder why they did that. The newer Raptor R has the R logo right here in the lower part, which is cool, and I think it's orange. But up top, there's no more orange for the center stripe. It's black. We gotta take these things off for a spin. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. See how they compare. Let's go. Okay, this is it. Getting inside Brian's Ford Raptor with the V6. How much horsepower are we dealing with again? 450 horsepower, 510 feet pound of torque. Okay, so you've saved sports suspension, sports steering, and Baja loud exhaust. Correct. I like it. Can I drive a manual? Yes, that's Thank the only you, way sir. I drive it. Mind if we turn off traction control? That's the only way to fly. Alrighty, let's do it. And manual mode is engaged. Oh, wow. That's a stock exhaust? Yeah. Sounds good, right? Wow. Yeah, it does. And the it, higher RPM, it gets more vocal, like more high pitch. Exactly. That's what, when you're idle, if, you, if I'm just sitting there and I rev it, it doesn't sound super throaty, but as soon as you're, you're driving and you get on throttle and it gets in those high RPMs, it, it sounds high performance. Wow. That is pretty loud. It's very different than the vocal range of the Raptor. Let's try to gun it. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely with the uh, the turbos, you can feel how higher in RPM. That's when you really uh, get, get the most out of the power. Right. But um, like down low, the torque with it, it feels like it feels pretty dang good. Very different sounds, man. And I'll be honest, the, the acceleration doesn't feel near as much as the Raptor R, which I don't I don't want to make it sound bad because <laughs> this is such a beast for off roading. You're gonna see what I'm talking about very, very shortly. The Raptor R definitely accelerates much faster, but this is a different type of experience. It's really fun with that six cylinder, man. It's very GTR-ish. Oh <laughs> Lift to GTR, that's what I always say. Yes, the suspension feel like, man, this, you can just cross country drive this so easily. It's so comfortable. Oh my gosh. I didn't shift in time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the shifts were a bit faster in both of our trucks. It's one complaint I do have that the shift speeds, they aren't the, the best. Uh, but what I do find again is, is with the turbos, you're really getting the power and acceleration out of it once you get the RPM climbing. Right. Uh, however, just driving it though, the feel of the truck, it's just like, like mine. The steering feel feels very smooth, relaxing to drive. Mm -hmm. And you, you have no fear. That's a, the best part about this kind of truck is that you can drive it really anywhere and it inspires you to keep doing it. Right, absolutely. Yeah, I would say my only complaint really is the transmission. I am not a fan of it, but other than that, I love everything else about the truck. Oh man, dude, this is fun though. I really appreciate you letting me get inside this vehicle. I was curious how they how they feel back to back and um, wow, you're going to be in for a thrill ride, I think, man. You ready to get inside the truck? Well, it's, my truck? I, 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 I know it's going to be worth the price of admission. You ready for this, man? Oh my goodness. This is a moment you've been waiting for. This is why I got up in the morning. This is what Raptor owners have been dreaming of. Right? Oh, the V8. Love it. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and action. <laughs> That's a little bit different than mine. That's a little bit different. Just a little bit. <laughs> was that probably, a pretty probably, good one? That was probably about 30 grand, just different, <laughs> about that much. So, so far, it's got some punch, right? It's got some, the oh, torque is right away. Let's do a quick pull up here, Let's shall we? Let's do it. Still spinning oh, all the way man. up. <laughs> oh, that was the third? Yeah, spinning to the third. <laughs> so what do you think of the power so far, man? That is insane. That really snaps your head back. It's totally different. Wow. <laughs> uh, plus the, the whole, the engine sound, man. It's oh just like the GT500. Um, I'm putting my allocation in. Yeah. I got to get one. <laughs> Let's put it in. Even when you go into four auto, man, I beat a GT500 down a... Uh, thousand foot or a thousand feet uh drag strip run at big willow it was so funny because <laughs> having the same engine and beating them with 37 inch tires in right? a truck was crazy this lifted but, monster yeah and you can put in rear wheel drive and do burnouts and, and drift like that and then for the fun uh racing you can just pop it into four auto and let it, let it do its thing let me turn it into uh automatic for that and let's do a quick launch does that sound good to you yeah that sounds amazing five four three two one in action Oh my god! Oh my god! 
We have two completely different trucks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you impressed or what? Oh my God. Only bad part is that's very expensive to do. That, yeah. That was, like, that was like, what, like seven bucks right there? That's a lot of money. But the power is amazing, isn't it? Wow, that was, <laughs> that, it really is impressive. Oh, gosh. That's really, that's different. I think you mentioned to me, we're putting down more power to the wheels in this than what your vehicle makes to the crank. Yeah, I've seen these dynoed at 588, right? And mine's 450 to the crank. So you, you got more wheel horsepower than I do crank horsepower. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's so like big. a ZL11 LE with 37 inch tires. It's burnouts on command. It's any anything you want to do shenanigans. You, you can do but then at the same time i'll be honest owning it for a little bit you get self-conscious about the gas right however when you get yourself in the right mindset of this is a performance vehicle get inside of it enjoy it it's it's fun especially it, on the off-road doing that let's do one more second gear rear wheel drive wow wow <laughs> it's gonna be very different than yours Oh my god. Oh, I need a Raptor R. Wow, it doesn't stop. Like you have to let off, it just keeps going. It just wants more. That so, is insane. More so I think of like a, a muscle car turned truck. Right, absolutely. Is 100%. The 100%. Yeah, this is like a this is like a lifted GT500. This is what everybody was lacking like in the Gen 2 uh, and in people like me who have the Gen 3 but we still have the, the twin turbo V6. This monster is unbelievable. It's worth thirty thousand dollars. You think thirty thousand dollars? Penny, every penny. <laughs> oh my god! Awesome, dude. Well, I'm I'm glad that you enjoyed the the, the vehicle, and I, I know you wanted to drive it for a long time. So I'm happy that we made that happen. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I, it's uh, I have to get one now. I think I, we should link up next both trucks and and do a wrap up. Does that sound good? Agreed. Okay. Let's do it. All right, Brian, thank you so much. That was a ton of fun to do this today. That was so much fun. Thank you so much for the, for the pleasure of driving that monster. I can't believe how much power that thing has. It is endless. Well, this isn't the end of it, guys. Stay tuned for part two on the off-road. We had to do a street driving version where you normally drive these usually, right? Right. However, the performance comes together completely off the road. So stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to follow Brian on Instagram. I'll have it floating on, top, on the screen right now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video uh, and lastly let us know what do you think is it worth the prize jump it's, it's a lot of money don't get me wrong and these kinds of vehicles are they're luxury items so you don't need them but if you can get one i think uh, it's definitely, definitely worth to think it. about yeah definitely worth it thanks again guys see you in the next one